You're listening to Empire of Rust, the world's first and only Transformers RPG podcast. Join the heroes of Icon as they defend Cybertronian civilization from the remnants of Cybertron First to Lord Starscream's egotistical leadership and beyond to the unknown threats on the other side of distant stars. Welcome back to Empire of Rust, still the first and still the greatest Transformers RPG podcast. And we have no time to waste. None. None at all. Adam, stop wasting time. Not doing it. Stop it. What did you guys do? What did you fools do last week? Well, I'm going to answer it for you. What did you do last week? Was it? Wasn't that two weeks ago? a lot from what I could tell. <laughs> <laughs> Oh right, you you did something to Starscream. You uh you you made him confused, didn't you, Magnum? Yes, he is confused, and he is glass gassed. Not as dirty as it sounds. Maybe now you can finally hit the fucker, huh? Mm-hmm. Sort of, sort of the point. <laughs> we have five rounds. <laughs> All right. So you said five rounds on the glass gas and two rounds on the confuse, correct? One round on the confuse, unfortunately. One round. Okay, one round on the confuse. Should have, shouldn't have said anything. Should just let me deal with the, the, the two rounds. <laughs> if you want to do two rounds, I'd be happy. But I'm not going to do it on a lie. All right. Well, you know what? Sweet Spot, you are leading us off. Go ahead. Take your turn, Sweets. All right. Do something cool. Uh, first thing. You're surrounded. Yes, I, I, I remember. I, I'm surrounded. Both to the north and to the south, I have some of uh, Starscream's goons. I want to get over here. Yes, I am going to bridge the distance between us all. All right, so uh, for one of my special abilities here, I'm going to spend a resolve point and get an extra above and beyond uh, move action, which I am then going to... Uh, transform and run. Jump up onto this counter. I'll run down the counter. And I will leap off the counter. Ending just below and in the smoke uh, of Star Street. Uh, and these guys will get uh, attacks of opportunity both to the north and south of me. Just what I was going to ask. Do they have melee weapons? Yes. Yes, they did. Ah. Oh, they do. 29 and a 21. I believe those are both misses, but let me check. Let me just double check. Mobility, baby. I think the 21 would be a miss because you're mobility. 29, though. I don't know. Uh, let me see. Uh, my KAC and EAC are both at a 26. Normally. But with mobility, that goes up by four, and that would be a miss. Both times. Double deuces, baby. That's sexy. Uh, uh. I disapprove of this. Da, 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 da. That's, da, da, da. That's da, da. why you can't get, hit this. Get a... <laughs> That's it. I'm taking away your, your mobility. But wait, I'm not done yet. That was just my extra move. The, uh, the bonus move that I got for spending that resolve point. And now that I'm here and have my full action available, I will use my special ability of uh, the missile attack that will function just like a magic missile. And I will be able to use three missiles as a full round action against Star Speed. I disapprove of this. I don't care. <laughs> and. Here they come. Here they come. Here they come. Flying down the street. Here they come. Getting the funniest looks from Magnum and Pythagoras. All right. So, uh, first one's going to be doing uh, 15 points of force damage. The first one? Oh, wow. And these uh, do not miss. They do not right? miss. Uh, it's just the way rolled roll 20 set up for attacks that it has to roll something but it's just no, no just way. the damage that we're paying attention to here uh, that would be 15 for the first yep 
16 for the second attack. And then Even worse. with uh, a max damage roll mixed in there, uh, there is a 17 for the third. Wow. Damn. Nice. <laughs> that was all impressive, that's I know. a lot more damage than I expected but from this. I can only that's do like, that like once a day. <laughs> so that's, that's why like, I would say that's that. How much, that's how much damage what his face this thing can do. Like, Starscream's weapon did 45 points of damage to uh, Wild Strike. And I'm so, so yeah. 15 for three rounds over mm-hmm. time. Well, speaking of Wild Strike, you're up, buddy. All right. You do have a clear line of sight to Starscream right uh, right next to Sweet Spot. And I have a supercharged weapon. Oh, Ooh, that's right. I don't right. like this. <laughs> I don't like this at all. Roll a one. Roll a one. Roll a one. All right. All right, Nico. Let's do this, boss. Fish shot. I'm vibrating with excitement over here. Hey, hey, hey. Wild Let me loose. Strike. Wild strike. Wild Let strike. Let me loose. 31. That will. Glass gas. With the glass gas, that will be a hit. All right. Ooh, glass gas for the win. That was very close. You paralyzed me for two rounds. I will get you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just hoping you didn't die before then. Ooh, that will be 29 damage. Bam. Oh. Huh. A good solid hit too. All right, Carapace. Well, where I am, I think I'm just gonna start. Oh, damn it! I'm gonna start moving towards here, just so like we're, we're pretty much underneath him. And I'm gonna say, pig pile. <laughs> 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 uh, all right. So no attacks you- or anything. Oh, uh, no, that's the, that's just me running in. So I'm into the smoke. I kind of I'm near where Wild Strike was. Not Wild Strike, uh, sweet spot. And you hear that that telltale sign of like the. So you're initiating, huh? Mm-hmm. I will take my position and uh, uplift my team members. So it's, it's Starscream's turn, right? Yes. Let's um, start this. Matt, Leah, yeah. give me a uh, confuse. Give me the roll for the confuse effect, please. Somebody's confused. Um, all right, roll that. I got a 23, <laughs> which, lucky me, is another. Do, do act absolutely nothing except act normally. So, <laughs> oh, this, this, this feat is fantastic at doing nothing <laughs> but scaring the DM. <laughs> <laughs> well, you scared me, you know? I lit a little, I lit a little oil loose on that one, so you know. Psychological warfare? Uh, okay. <laughs> good, good. You know, I'm just uh, going to keep means... the resolve point on that one because uh, you don't deserve it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Starscream's going to jump up and put his thrusters against you, uh, Carapace. Can he see? Can he? Can he see us? Uh, that is a good question. I will roll the mischance. The movement's still going to happen, but right. uh, he might be able, he might actually miss. And I'm going to do it against the uh, sweet spot actually instead because uh, I want to hit sweet spot more. I hate sweet spot. Because there's an intersection of uh, clouds in between there. Does that mean a 40% mischance? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think it works that way. <laughs> but that's how it works in real life. Are you sure? <laughs> I don't think gas density works that way. Are you sure? It actually does, but yes. <laughs> okay, anyway. Uh, let's see. So that is going to be an attack against you, sweet spot. Roll it. Uh, that is... Oh, wow. That is a 38. Miss is what I want to say. Yeah. I but think. yeah, it's actually going to <laughs> Not too bad on the damage on this one. Oh, let me actually roll the... The concealment for, yeah. for the uh, the mischance. I can do that. Sure. Forty nine. Still good. Okay. And the damage is going to be not too bad. I think that's going to be two, eight, and nine. And any bonuses? Oh yeah, five. So it's a uh, fourteen fire damage. Total. Fourteen. Yep. Right along your chest. Sweet spot, do you, does your like hood just kind of go right in the front of your your butt? Yes, yes, it does. Well, now you got a night two nice big scorch marks right on. See, now this is why my original color scheme was black with red trim. 
because black does not show the scorch mark so much. <laughs> 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So that is the move from that attack there. And then he has a normal move that will that'll get him around uh, just over here to the, the north in a clear area outside the smoke. Uh, oh, he's way up uh, there. He, All right. Yep. He uh, he dashed uh, he dashed to the north trying to get out of uh, all this because I think he's he's smart enough to, to see what's coming. You pathetic fools! You'll never stop me. I I am in charge of this world. Me, not Windblade, not Optimus Prime. He points directly at you, uh, Wild Strike, and not Megatron. I'm the one who united Cybertron's colonies. I led us through the Titan attack, and I'm the one who'll prepare us for the Harmonium. I've already won. You're all just too stupid to see it. I'll finish you off, and nothing else will be in my way. You and that little bear, too. Well, well, well. That what bear? what oh, right. bear are you mentioning, maybe? <laughs> You don't mean this wee bear, do you, Star Wainer? <laughs> <laughs> what? Where did you come from? It doesn't matter where I come from, boyo. It all matters on where you're going. <laughs> oh, you are going to scream, all right. Even if your normal mode of communication is whining. <laughs> now, this bear has claws, and though they can't hold power like your wee hands can, Starwainer, I've learned to wield me own. I've waited for this moment for so long. Now that it's here, I can't decide to use the power or the punch to wallop you. Shanix flip. And she will uh, toss a Shanix in the air. Uh, and attack. <laughs> oh, man. You silly bear, get away from me! <laughs> really? <laughs> Are you about to do what I think you're about to do, Adam? Yes, I am. <laughs> I uh, hope so. In a charge attack, uh, she will run and go to punch him. Uh, with claws, and at the same time, she'll discharge her saved uh, lightning bolt. <laughs> so, uh, she will uh, charge, uh, uh, transform as part of the charge move, and leap with her mighty bare legs. And he's probably outside the reach of the claws, so he'll just crane, she'll crane the neck. And bite down as hard as she can on his foot. Drag him back. back oh my foot! Yeah, I know. <laughs> you sink your teeth into his leg, and he uh, loses control and starts tumbling sideways as he struggles to right himself and shake you off. But the weight is too much for him to bear. Ah! <laughs> I approve. And she pulls him down, but he manages to direct the the flight path kind of off to the side here, on top of this uh, this kind of single story structure. Uh, and the two of you crash into the roof, and you can see that the the glass doors kind of explode outwards when the two of you land on the floor of the uh, the room in here. All right. Legionnaire, you're up. Legionnaire, um, he is just going to stay with everyone and activate the combiner mode. Oh, Matt, you're, uh, you're taking on Legionnaire today. All right. Yep. Pat's been doing a lot, so. And what did I just uh, roll over her? You said you're doing what? Um, doing the same thing as Sweet Spot and Care Persistent, just at where we are activating our combiner mode. All right. Dun, 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 dun. So I guess technically we're waiting on Sweet Spot. Sweet yeah. Spot would be the last one. I would be the last one. 
it took I thought you already forward. started it. No, you didn't start it. No, I got into position and I used my full round action to do three missiles. So, Worth it. You can get eight points of damage, so I'm <laughs> totally happy with that. Now it is the guards, the uh, four that we have left here. I think they are going to try and uh, disrupt this. Uh, yeah. Can they? Do they even know what's going on in the smoke? I imagine, like, Starscream is intelligent enough. I imagine he would have told them. Well, I'd make sure they roll my mysticism first. Because <laughs> <laughs> they got to be good at that, right? Uh, okay. Let's uh, move some folks over. All right. So they're all going to move to to get closer. Uh, and they're just going to take some shots at you guys. <laughs> Hopefully that's enough to, to disrupt you. Maybe they don't know that, but they're going to give it a shot. Go ahead, my little stormtroopers. <laughs> Let's start off with Sweet Spot. Just me with your best spot. All right, so Sweet Spot. For you, you're getting a 33 to hit. Uh, well, uh, I think that'll do. Uh, Sweet Spot, you're also going to take a 23, which is probably going to be a miss. Yes, I will. That will be a miss. Uh, Carapace of 32. Uh, that would hit me right now, yeah. And Magnum, a 27. Yep. All right. So a hit and a miss on Sweet Spot, a hit on Carapace, and a hit on Maggie Thatt. Uh, now, now just roll the miss chances. Uh, let's do in the same order. So start off with Sweet Spot. Yeah. That is a tw- uh, 86. Oof. That's a good one. That's a hit. Second one on Sweet Spot, a... Roll the miss. Uh, 56. Well, the second one was a miss anyway. You said the oh, sec- right. The, the second hit was on me. So yeah, roll that one over to you there, Carapace. So a 56 on you. And last but certainly least, Magnum. <laughs> a nine. That's a miss. <laughs> That's what I get for insulting Magnum. <laughs> He's got extra smoke around him. So. <laughs> Puffing it up. That force field that you put on us only lasted for a round, correct? Yeah, unfortunately. Okay. No, I just want to make sure. 12 for you, Sweet Spot. Uh, 12 for you, Carapace. And nothing on Mag. Magnum. Your turn. Me? After your fan favorite status protected you from my insults. <laughs> That's what it does? <laughs> okay. Well, I am going to initiate. I Presumably, Pythagoras is going to pop off as a result. Because he's not part of the combiner. He's just riding on his back. I'll just jump on his back. Shoot more nasty things at Starscream when he gets and, the chance. Uh, I was just going to say, oh my god, right here. that's insane. Yeah, we get we get your scientist abilities in t- on top of fucking alloy. <laughs> oh, oh. He is going to, Pythagoras is going to delay uh, for now. <laughs> Actually, right. Pythagoras is, you think I can just do a deal ball, Adam? Here. Why not? Because we'll all get the points back. No. All right. Damn. Um. Uh, wild strike can get 22 hit points back. Ooh, thank you. Nice. Denison and then Sweet Spot. You got two turns there, Adam. All right. Uh, Denison will uh, attempt to just uh, strike the big man dying with. The power of lightning. <laughs> Where have I seen you before? <laughs> That's Forgot not the question you should be asking, but rather, <laughs> how would you write, like to be disposed of? Kind of save I'm making. Uh, I think it's a 19. 19 reflex. Got a 33 reflex. <laughs> All right, so this will be uh, the double spell. Uh, and maximized. So that will be 120 points of damage if he failed, or 60 if he does make the save. He, he did. He, he made the save. But still, 60 points of damage in one round. That is nothing to laugh at. No, it is not. Ah, my spark. <laughs> That'll wake you up in the morning now, won't it, boyo? 
go and leave me <laughs> on Earth for thousands of years? What makes you think I left you on Earth? What makes you <laughs> think that I give a shit? What is shit? I it's uh, <laughs> it's the waste material from you know uh, animals and humans and organics. You know, it's really messy. It's a bit like oil, but more solid. Like just as smelly, just as disgusting. That's that you. That sounds gross. Hey, that's you. You're gross. <laughs> Sweet spot, take your turn. Well, you should have known that a, any conversation between these two would turn into like a death spiral. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Sweet spot will continue the the transformation uh, into aloe. Is that it, or do we still need wild? Strike? We just need wild strike. That's it. It's wild right? strike, yeah. All right, I I am now a leg. A leg at leg. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that. Actually, I more felt it than heard it. Felt it right here. Uh, wild strike. You're up next. All right. I will fly away. <laughs> Use the grappler. Yeah, I'll, uh, <laughs> I saw that coming. I saw that coming. I'll, I'll move up and join in. All right. And like the whole Carapus? team is goes up for the high five, and we're just left hanging. Carapus <laughs> already started it, so Wild Strike was the last. All you had to do was high five yourself. That's it. <laughs> um, I'm the one who kind of started it, and I did that. Like you know, sweet spot kind of came up and tried to like lift me up by himself, but we you know that's not going to happen. So we had to like wait until. Magnum got there, and then they both lifted me up, and I just kind of envisioned, like, you know, because this thing kind of, like, we all get pulled together, like, from, like, almost anywhere, I see Wild Strike, like, kind of just jumping up, like, as jet form, and just kind of, like, slamming into that spot, and just kind of, like, transforming, and it's... Nose first. You know, pulling us all together. Yeah, nose first, obviously. You're right. And then as we stand up, which we're probably now taller than the fog... Or the smoke, which is pretty Oh, dope. yeah. Yep. It's, it's dope. <laughs> In a... I'm going to make an intimidation check to the area, but specifically aimed at Starscream. I'm going to say... You thought you were in danger at Hell's Point. <laughs> <laughs> oh, remembering that. Today is the day that you die. And can I make a uh, an intimidation check? You absolutely can. I just, I, I just love the image he painted of us trying to get ready for the transformation by just sort of picking up, trying to pick up Carapace as two legs. Like, <laughs> all right, we're all in position. We, we have a trans- <laughs> It's like the, it's like the dumbest human pyramid in the world. Yep, yep. <laughs> I mean, I said, I said pig pile, but you know, it was, uh, it was kind of there. That's uh, how we, look, that's how we look when we transform back. Like, yes. oh, 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 don't drop him. <laughs> That is a 15. Okay, that's a good place to start. 21 plus the 15 is 36. But then he gets a plus two because of the uniqueness of the insult. Because of what Prime told me. The DC would be 37. And with Prime's information, <laughs> you managed to pull it to a 38. Oh, yes! Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Woo-hoo. Ah! When, I, when I was looking at the map for that, it was like 15 times one and a half, like the CR. It's like, that's going to be almost impossible to hit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. That was that was super close, but you managed to do that. Yeah. Uh, all right. So the, the result is, what is it? Uh, uh, minus two for everything Starscream does? I believe is so. shaken. Effectively, yeah. 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 Target is shaken for one round. The duration increases by one round for every five. So you take it for a round. Uh, what I'll also give you is, uh, since he has no idea why you know this information, I will even give you a free uh, one round confuse out of that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Woohoo! Um, so uh, just, just, as, so- just as a reminder... Each component is granted one standard and one move action per round. And one reaction per round. But don't forget, you can only attack, you know, you can only attack and move, like, once per round. Like, the character can. Right. 
everyone has the access to it and the ability to use it, but you should also have some other like move actions and stuff that you can do uh, like on your turn. Correct. But yeah, only one like attack action and then one move action per turn. All right. All right, well, that brings it to Starscream's turn. Uh, you know what, Magnum, why don't you go ahead and roll up the Confuse for me, since you get the table ready. So that is... <laughs> Deal 1d8 plus strength modifier damage to self with item in hand. <laughs> it says he has to punch himself in the face. All right, so 1d8 plus strength, you say? Although, uh, well, he hasn't been attacked. Um, Mike had a good point, like, if he gets attacked before his confusion kicks off, it, it breaks that, um, the confusion, or at least makes him just attack them. But he hasn't, it just kicked in, right? The confusion just kicked in? Yeah, because he, he goes right after, uh, Carapus. Okay. Carapus third off that. So, way. then he will punch himself. But, All right. <laughs> be funny if that's what killed him. <laughs> see, I, I, <laughs> I kind of see this, like, just based on the, the way that you kind of described it, is that he actually just like affected, like he's like afraid and is like almost like backpedaling and like panicking and like trips and like hits himself. Like it wasn't like a like, Duh! you know, like that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it, is good. it isn't, he isn't, he isn't deranged, he's just confused. Yeah, right. Uh, well, that is his turn. Uh, Legionnaire, it's you. The arm, the big, strong left arm of, of a uh, alloy. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it's well, very late right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, so uh, we, we, we each get an action, but we can only do we can only yeah. The, the whole bot as a whole is is limited, right? So you have a standard and a move and reaction, but Alloy as a character can only take one like move, like can only move once or attack once. You know each each round, so you okay. can't take multiple attacks. Or multiple moves, but... All right, well, um, why don't we just saunter on over there, then? Yeah. So you could you could have him hurl. What? One of the abilities that a combiner can do is they can grab nearby objects and throw it as a ranged attack, but that can also include other bots in this, because of how big we are. All right, so I'll, grab that, I'll grab that seeker in front of me, then. Yeah, chuck him. Say. Chuck him at the building. Or at another seeker. <laughs> oh, even better. Yeah, yeah, I like that. All right, I'll grab the one in front. And, uh, sorry, I don't really know how he, how he works. Um, so you d pretty much need to make a grapple check with, um, but as a, because it's a melee attack, it is a plus 23. But because I am involved in this, it is actually... One, two, three, four, five. It's five higher than that. So so 28. 28. Yes, you get a plus 28. Is that all? Yep. What? So you wanted out. more? He'll reach out and grab this dude in front of him. Uh, he gets a 31. Well, the three. Pretty certain that's going to beat their CAC plus eight. All right. Yep. Yeah, it does. And then the regular attack is one... Is twenty five? You said. Uh, well, with the rate now that you're doing a range, it is a plus eighteen. R flung, uh, <laughs> reaches out, <laughs> grabs the first one, and chucks him at the one to the north. Oh, no. With a thirty eight to hit. You get a twenty. That's a natural twenty, dude. Oh, no? <laughs> natural twenty. I even noticed. Natural twenty. That's the big green okay. twenty. Crit, crit with one. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> do you want to roll this damage? I would love to. <laughs> okay, so you're rolling 28d6. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Is uh, there a plus, plus involved here? Yeah, 28d6 plus, like, 60. <laughs> <laughs> so, 166 points of damage! <laughs> I think it just throws him like a spear with his pointy head. Boom! <laughs> oh man, that's 166 points of damage to a a guard, a nameless guard. <laughs> well, even, was if the you, nameless. even if you split it between the two, it would, they're it probably still both. both dead. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're, they're both dead. Mm -hmm. God, I love this game. 
<laughs> All right, I guess that's my my actions. Or do I still have a move? Oh, that's probably enough. That's a full action. Yeah, that's okay. Carl is full. Yeah. Uh-huh. Thank you for the help. Okay. Well, that's Legionnaire. Uh, now it's the guards' turns. Um, <laughs> guards. This one is going to attempt to to back away as much as he can. Attack of opportunity. <laughs> Both of the guards uh, will attempt to to back away from uh, Alloy's big, massive frame. And, of course, because he have a big, massive frame, you pre- they provoke for each of them. So if someone has it and wants to use it, feel free to take the arrows. Yeah, we can each take a reaction once per round as well. Um, and because of me, I think I, because of, I can take two attacks about the beginning of round, I think we can as well. <laughs> nice. Um, so, uh, I think only one of them is in our reach when it's fled. Is that correct? I didn't see where the other one came from. He was hiding behind the life bar, actually, on the top. Yeah. yeah I didn't even know he was there until he moved. Yeah. He was <laughs> Good directly, strategy. Directly we couldn't see him hiding behind the life bar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he was directly north of us? Yes, directly yep. north, hiding behind. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do you guys I don't know what our BAB is. Yeah, why don't you guys do it? I just did one. Yeah, uh, you want to do Adam? Going once. Adam in. Okay, well, I'll do one then if no one's going to say anything. And I got a 16. That's with a plus 25. So that is a 41 to hit. Any particular one? Uh, the one that is to the west. That's a hit then. And let me roll my dice. Uh, 87. <laughs> <laughs> yep. 14, yeah, you, you, 14d6 you plus, plus 37. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you get him. Yeah, you get right, him. I figured. It'd be more amazing if he survived. I know, right? All right, going twice. And then I then I got a 45 to hit the one to the north. You got a 20 again, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> How do I get missing this? <laughs> The big green 20. <laughs> <laughs> I just look at the result. I don't look at the numbers. Yeah. So what is this? Uh, 28? We have a is confetti this? touch. Like anything that we touch has just been turning into confetti. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like 28 to 6 plus 60, you said? Yeah, yeah. They, they're, they're dead. Like, I, I don't think it's possible. <laughs> you you want to roll it up there, Matt? Yeah, sure. Make 171 you feel better? points. <laughs> <laughs> Still alive. Two no. crits. <laughs> Whoa. Give that guy a raise. I know, right? <laughs> Just whack a ball here. Wham, wham. All right, now we got to get our us over there. All right. Well, that was like the two actions, and you've wiped out like, all the guards around you. You're a combiner. Makes perfect sense. <laughs> Which means, Magnum, it is your turn. Again? It just went. No, you went as Legionnaire. Oh, I went as Legionnaire. All right. Can I walk now? You can. If you want to. We have a right. 45 speed. You can walk right. if you want to. You can leave your <laughs> friends behind. Your friends don't walk in it. They don't walk in it. No friends to my... Pythagoras just, like, saunters back. All right. So 90 will get us here. Wander up the street. End up here at the bush. Outside the dynamite factory or whatever it is. Do you have a 90 speed? That was a double move. You can only take a single move. I can. A combiner may only take only take one move action each turn, one attack per weapon each turn. Um, Pythagoras? Um, actually, I don't think, I don't think there's anything to do right now. Hang you can on. Do lots of things. No, we're out of range. Pythagoras, make now. a reflex check, a reflex save. What? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fine. Well, I mean, you could use Pythagoras could use his normal abilities, right? What's the range? Yeah, of I just guns? think we're out of range, though. I think oh, my okay. guns are a little too far away. I think. I mean, uh, frankly, it doesn't give ranges in the book, so how we take it closer. Pythagoras already in action when he gets within range of Starscream. Sounds good to me, Denison. All right, it has been an utter joy beating upon you, Starscream. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart. But your time is done. She will... You are nothing to me. 
What was that you said? Arcing surge. Me. You filthy You know what would be even worse thing for him to say right then? You were nothing to Megatron. Ooh. Yeah, he's not smart enough to come up with that one on the fly. I know. And that will be uh, 47 points of electrical damage save <laughs> uh, DC 19 for half of that. DC 19 into reflex, correct? Reflex, correct. Got a, oh, got a nat 20 on that. Uh, a nat 20 on a save, damn it. All right. Well, all right. well done. You take half of it. Okay. Good. Uh, sweet spot. Uh, you are up next. All right. Uh, as alloy, uh, I can I can move. Oh, that's terrifying! <laughs> no, <laughs> <laughs> Magnum already uh, did the move for the round. All right. When so does alloy's round begin, and when does it end? So there's no more move I can do, right? Right. Um, you can't move physically, but if you have abilities that are move actions, you can right. still do those. Right, 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 right. And so, other things that you could possibly do uh, a scan is a move action that we can do because we're a combiner. You can also change the weapon that we're wielding, like our ranged weapon, as a standard action if you choose. You can use power as a standard action. Uh, now, I, I use my missile power as. Uh, sweet spot, and I only get that once. A day. What I get it again? Why do you only get? It? Why do you only get it from today? It's a power. That was that was in the power. Powers, pa- powers are like once plus once every five levels. I thought. Mm, okay, I might need. Like to... I could do, I could do my shields twice a day because I am fifth level, and once I reach tenth level, I could do it three times per day. All right, uh, then I will use my last power for the day. All right, do it. As just a, a move action, I would only get, you know, uh, two missiles, not all three. And they are 16 points and six. Uh, is that one? Yep. 16, 16. So the missiles kind of just fly right in, like right through the, the front door of this little building? Yeah, if I can, if, if I spot some, I, I, I hit some. All right, here we go. Getting, getting down pretty low here. Two missiles like scream past uh, Denison's head. One on her left, one on her right, and comes right into Star Scream. Hey, hey, hey! Watch the bear! Watch the bear! Friendly bear! <laughs> <laughs> Wild Strike. I'm holding my action. I'm gonna actually ready it for right before we attack. Okay. Carapace. At this point, I think I can move us there. Is it me? Are we waiting for me to do the move? Oh. Like I said, which, when, I, when does his turn end and when does ours, when does it begin? Yeah. I, I, I think it would go on you because you were... Uh, or he, start, it, he started it. He started it. We also have access to Crush and Tumble right now. <laughs> so <laughs> if there was something in the way... <laughs> if there was uh, something left... That's a torch. Uh, we could definitely do that. And all right, I think I, my alt written. So that's my move. Um, and then I will use. I will actually turn on my power and give us an extra shield. Like we need it. Okay. <sighs> okay. My action. My action goes off. Actually. Hey, are you attacking? Well, sort of. I mean, it's a dead disaggregator. Yes. You don't have to make it you attack roll. Are you doing damage? No. Okay. When so, you say yours, is it, you mean Pythagoras or Pythagoras is action. Um, he's going to fire his disaggregator gun at Starscream. Uh, he has a 42 save, I think a 19 to to ignore. He has a minus uh, two because he's still afraid. Uh, there you go. Uh, rolled a 17, so, and it's 42, so that is tw- one, uh, 32. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 32. Yeah, yeah, so I think it's fine. <laughs> that was not a game. More than a game. So that one doesn't have, like, a, a, it's like an all or none, right? Yeah, fortitude save negates. <clears throat> all right, 
he's, that's his action, so he, that was the ready one, so. Uh, all right. So Starscream here. What is he going to do? He is in, in a rock, he's in a rock and a hard place. <laughs> Between a bear and a hard place. Well, he's got the bear in front of him, so I think he needs to deal with that first. Indeed. I'm going to take a guarded step back, put a little bit of distance between us. That way I don't provoke. And I am going to shoot you with something, and I need you to make a fort save. Um, that's Denison or both of us? Denison. Fort save, fort save coming, fort save. 17, yay! 17 is not going to do it. Hey. Nay, indeed. Uh, let's see. Let me roll up a D4 on this one. D- Not max. D4. That doesn't sound so bad. <laughs> yeah. All right. You are going to take 15 hit point damage each round for four rounds. Starting now, right? Starting now, kid. Legionnaire. All right. I guess I'll shoot him. All right. So my ready to action will go off. Yep. If you're going to attack, yeah, I'm going to use my last supercharged weapon. I know. Okay. So oh, plus 46 no. gear damage. <laughs> because that, All right. that will make the difference. Yes, it will. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. What kind uh, of weapon you got there? I'm going to use. Uh, there's going to be a Paragon Cathode Break damage. So the beefed up version of uh, uh, Carapace. 28 to hit Starscream. Uh, a 28, because the glass gas will hit. All right. Like I said, you're the MVP. <laughs> I, 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 I knew this was going to happen. <laughs> All right, so that's 60, 12. Well, special, you're spe- you. And you're specialized, right? Uh, that's correct, so it's plus 14. Your, uh, your to hit bonus was a little bit low, too. Right, isn't it 18 normally, and then Pat's ability brings it up by 5? No, that's only for uh, either attacks of opportunity or combat maneuvers. Oh, all right. Because you want to roll the extra damage, Wild Strike? 46. 46. You want to roll it, or? Yeah. Tack it on there. At 56 just from the gun. And it sets off the grenade factor. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, Denison was in there. Yeah. Wait, Denison's still in there. It oh. sets off the grenade factory. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought you were wrong. I asked you if you me. wanted to roll it, and you said yes. Oh, I thought you said, "Do you want me to roll it?" <laughs> oh. You uh, <laughs> nine because I rolled it. Hey, oh, <laughs> right? Oh. Sixty-five damage to his face. Oh, electro man. damage. He is- he is still up, but he is really badly hurt here. All right, good. All right, uh, Matt, don't go anywhere, because without any guards to, to worry about, it is Magnum's turn. Hey, hey, hey. Well, I don't think there's anything left for me that to do. We've moved and we've shot. Can you do anything to foul him up? Use him? Uh, make him oil himself? You can taunt him. Taunt him you know, works. Do we like your... Doing like you're like the inky, you know the, the inky, bitchy spider went up the water spout. <laughs> you know. Like. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll I'll hit him with another cosmic truth here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> cosmic truth. You're a loser. <laughs> oh! <laughs> what is Rob playing? Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> so he has to make a will save. DC twenty. Probably gonna, uh, no, Natty won. Right. <laughs> oh, they'll be like, Starscream, your shoe's untied. That's what? all I can come up with. He looks down, but I don't even wear shoes. He is confused now. Let me roll for integration. I love this feat. Three rounds, so fitting, too. Nice. Not gonna last that long. <laughs> Denizen, you have the, the chance to wrap this up. All right. Time to put you to bed, finally. And she's going to, uh... Yeah, she's going to come at him with both claws. He still has got a pretty high AC, so you're going to need to roll high on yep. that one. And it's going to be a long... 
Uh, right, she strikes with the left claw for a total of 20. I'm not gonna lie, that's depressing, but not nearly as depressing as the right claw. Uh, swiping at a nine. It's just not gonna do it, Denison. Nope. And with your your hit points being like dropped because of a, a star oh, yeah, ability. Oh right. yeah, that's right. Gotta take it down again. This might have been the last action she could have taken, and you whiffed on it. <laughs> the last action bear. <laughs> sweet spot. <laughs> Is sweet spot gonna redeem this? Does sweet spot care to redeem this? Uh, can sweet spot do anything? Movement's been taken. Shots been taken. He's used up his power. I vote that we defer actions and let Wild Strike. Well, it says the, next, the, the next combiner may only gun. take one at attack per weapon each turn. Uh, you can also make skill checks as a standard action. So Sweet Spot could use his action to change the weapon you have, and then Wild Strike can shoot it. Hmm. Uh, what other weapons do we have here? That would be fitting for the death of the president. Well, I guess there's the question. Do you want it to be the death of the president? Because if the weapon you turn it into has, they say, the stun effect, it would no, just render No, we don't want a stun effect. Huh? We don't want a stun effect. Okay, I mean, like, if, if we're... I, I between, felt that. Between Wild Strike, between Wild Strike and Sweet Spot, I figure they're the ones that are actually deciding whether or not he lives or dies right now. So. I can't stop you. Oh, no. <laughs> what is going through uh, Sweet Spot's head right now? This is a... This this is a president. This is a... A, a ruling person on, on this planet. What's up? going through your head right now uh i will uh i will switch it to the third weapon whatever that is from from the top it is the uh, electro gel death on the level 15 items on the level 15 items third weapon down that's what i pick i think you probably pick the most complicated weapon on the list if it's non-lethal so be it lethal (laughs) so be it it, uh, is, it is a stun. Okay, well, then. that means you can you can turn it on and off. It's that, also a line. It's living. It mires. It regrowths, and it's unwieldy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> what that that in, we let the weed spot create a new weapon, and it's just this giant worm thing that shoots <laughs> electric goo goo. <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> it's electric. Icky, 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 icky. <laughs> this is actually this, just like a, a, vis, a, 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 a physical representation of the canker that's in his heart. Like, you know, like the, <laughs> the hatred that he feels for Starscream. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, if that's your standard, that means uh, Wild Strike. Yep. There you go. It's up to you. All right. What's the attack for this guy? Plus 19. Do you happen to Ooh. have weapon focus? Oh, ho, 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 ho. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Nice. Uh, how much damage does this gun do? All of it. This gun does 68 acid and electricity, <laughs> which is an odd combination. Yeah. And what's, really is. what's our bonus? Plus 16, I think. Plus 14. Uh, it's plus 14 because we're considered special. Actually, no. Be- uh, this is a heavy weapon? Yes. Uh, because I am specialized in heavy weapons, it's one and a half times. So it's plus 21. 21. Okay. So, as Alloy, Wild Strike looks at this odd ranged weapon that Sweet Spot just created for him, points it out in front of him, fires as this wave of uh, electrified energon flies forward and just blows into the room, hitting Denizen and Starship. Oh! It is in two. It's oh, a line. Oh no! It's two a line. Bears with one. A line. No. <laughs> I mean, you could theoretically skip her if you want. I don't uh, think we can. We have, yeah, we have selective. No, he can't. No, yeah, he can't. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, you definitely can. What's can't. your damage? <laughs> All right. So for the attack. Before we uh, we talk about the damage, what is going through Wild Strike's head on this? This is. This is like the end result of of, of months and, and of months of planning. And what is just what's going through Wild Strike's head as he pulls the trigger? 
Yeah, exactly. This has been a long time in the coming. All the stuff they've been through finally ending at this point right now, taking out Starscream. This is it. I feel it. And you're doing it for and you're doing it for Megatron's sake. Here Something that you and Denison have in common. That's true. Too bad she'll never Go know ahead. that. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and roll up your damage, Wild Strike. There we go. Wow. 80 damage. Like, look at all those ones and twos. I know, seriously. <laughs> On D8s. Is, 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 there, is there a saving throw? No, it's an attack. Oh. It's an attack. But it does, ironically, have a stun effect. So, it will probably render you both unconscious. Oh, no. Star Street's going down. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. You pull the trigger, and this, this liquefied energon just shoots out from this nozzle and coats Denizen, coats Starscream, coats the entire entire room and Starscream falls. Woo! And we'll see you next time. Ah! Yeah! Ah! Motherfucker! <laughs> One strike. <laughs> Go. Oh, man. By the way, I just Apply the damage to stamina first, and then to hit points. And Denizen was left alive with four hit points left. Nice. Oh. <laughs> if Starscream's ability carries over one more turn, she will go down. We, al- we also have a necromancer that can actually make use make you useful for once. You know. <laughs> No, 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 no. <laughs> no one, no one naturalness from the secret files of Teletran One. Empire of Rust is written and GM by Michael Ordway. Headmaster Magnum and his partner Pythagoras are played by Matthew G. Candidate Sweet Spot, representative of Velocitron, is played by Adam H.U. The Decepticon warrior Wild Strike and his partner Nyko are played by Mike M. And Carapace. The Beast Soldier of Primitive Eucharis is played by Patrick Finn. Additional characters are played by Michael and Cassandra Ordway. Empire of Rust is supported by the humans and networks of planet Earth, whose online networks provide access to libraries of sound effects and music, such as Storyblocks, Zasblat, Blue Zone, and Dark Fantasy Studios. We are distributed by the Transmissions Podcast Network. Stay up to date with all the latest news and reviews in the world of the Transformers by going to transmissionspodcast.com or searching for the transmissions in your podcast app of choice. You can communicate with the heroes of Iacon by joining us on the Transmissions Discord channel. There you can discuss episodes, talk to the cast, and download the rule set used in the Empire of Rust. Teletran 1, signing off.